I'm here to test the Mi Fine Ineffable on the water. This is the 3 to 11 gram <coughs> version. I paired with my Daiwa Revros 1000 LT. And let's see if I can manage. Already I can tell you that this is a lot more sensitive and the Sinaid Kraken. I'm using a sort of cranking jerk wick. So slender profile, but still with some wobble. I don't think this will I think this was trash on the water not right everything is still flooded a lot of debris coming with the current so I will probably detect a lot of false bites today. Not liking what I see from this lure for today because the last few times I was here the fish were reacting a lot uh, to twitches, er erratic movement and this and they seem to love flashy colors so let's swap spots I already have my box of ultra light weights in here and you'll see me a lot more upstream a lot of fish in here, but I don't think the ones that are so upstream are biting. But let's try anyway. Whoa, whoa, something! I got something! Yes! Oh, he got away. Snap. Oh, some. Uh, I think they are too small to to get the trebles on their mouth but they are feeding which is a good thing I will give it a last try and after that I will swap for a, for a smaller now I got something very small guy not worth it or maybe the hooks on this are crap. Another one. Ooh. This one is bigger. And it's face. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can. Nasty one. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop doing that. Looking how these fish bite the lure, and knowing that the other ones were smaller, I think they were just pinching the trebles and the hooks were not getting through the mouth of the fish. Let's see if the guy. Oh, nice little chub. Go to your life. But still, the rod is Kristen, and now I don't have any pressure on me. So let's try a different thing. That gets more hook sets. See you guys in a bit. So since the fins are smaller in here, I'll go with a smaller presentation with a single hook on the back, so it's easier to unhook them. Let's 
I see if they are interested in it in eating this this lure. Ooh, an attack and another one. This will be so much fun. This rod for the type of fishing that, that I do, it probably can do everything. I'm sold. It casts like a cannon, even smaller weight. Look. It has a lot of sensibility. Ooh, ooh. Nice one. Ooh, ooh, this is a big one. Take the head out, out of the water. If I can, oh, shit, I left my net there. <sighs> ah. My lure, I think, just flew away. Ah, Jesus. Ah. And after this, I just resort for Old Faithful, the Ledun Micro Minnow. <laughs> Look at this ang angry little fellow. And after this the bite just started to die off so slowly but surely I know that I could go wherever I wanted but uh, the fish will not be biting as they were during the morning. So this is the end of the session. I'm still casting because I like to waste time. Uh, this was a very productive day. I had a lot of bites. Uh, landed two fish. One of them ex escaped because the line broke. Uh, it was my bad because I didn't have the net near me. But I landed a solid one for the creek. And overall, the ineffable. It's another solid rod from Mifine. Uh, it fixed the problems that I had with the Kraken, which was a uh, Two, the tip was too stiff this one it's just perfect you feel your lure even the under three grams lures you can deal with them with no problem i think if you only want two rods for uh, ultra light and light fishing if you pair this with the uh, unstoppable or go even lower if you want to use like micro jig heads and maybe even uh, flies you can go with the uh, illusion slash that I uh, you already saw, or the Motral draw, um, which is also very lightweight. I think it will go up uh, one and a half grams, and this can deal with everything after that until 11 grams. This is another uh, thing that I can recommend to you. Very comfortable to use. 
uh, the ergonomics on this is, are very good. You don't feel the EVA, but you feel the cork when you are holding the rod and it feels very, very nice on you. It's a solid uh, cork, it's not like veneer. Uh, it, it's also uh, just uh, with no treatment, so it has no varnish, so it feels very comfortable on the hand. And this is one rod that I will not sell. This one will, will stay with me because I really, really enjoy fishing with it. Just saw some fish passing by and I really, really like it. So now I'm going home and I see you guys on my next video.